Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another model review today. This time it'll be the Aero Classics 1 to 400 Air Transat Airbus A310 in the welcome livery. And joining me today, I do have four very special guests. We have Gemini Bros for life. Please say hello. Hey guys. I finally got it correct. We have Gemini Jets J Triple X. Please say hello. Hello, guys. We have Aviation Winnipeg. Please say hello. Hello, guys. And we also have Thin Air Aviation HD. Please say hello. Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? All right, guys. Since um, my most recent trivia question was just asked in my last video, which I made. 15 minutes ago. I will not answer a trivia question, but there will be one at the end of this video. So I will meet you guys and we will be back shortly. All right, guys. So right here we have the model. So I will start with the box as usual. Okay. This is your typical Aero Classics box, guys. We have Aero Classics in script on the top of the box. There's your bubble. Airbus A310 1 to 400 scale. There's nothing on that panel, but on here you have Air Transat, there's your welcome livery, and your registration. Okay, nothing on that panel, and nothing on, oh, A310 200. Okay, if you look on the back, there is a map of the world. Then you have in several different languages. Uh, not suitable for children under 14. Looks like German, English, and French. Made in China. All right, so kind of a boring box. But anywho, let's get going with the model. Um, very, it's it's much smaller than you would think it would be, but uh, it's not as small as a 737. I'll do a comparison. Okay, so right here, guys, you have the... Uh, window the i'm sorry the cockpit windows here are your um windshield wipers look on the side here it says airbus a310 is your l1 boarding door you got the uh billboard air transat titles right here there's your cabin windows come down here there's your overwing exit right here your uh engine Come down, you have welcome in many different languages, uh, hence the name the welcome livery. And then there's your rear uh, door, not so much, you know, not really able to see it too well since it's, you know, kind of covered in the welcome. And then you have the beautiful tail plus your air transat star and then your horizontal stabilizers. And if you turn the aircraft around to the other side, you have your forward cargo slash baggage compartment. And then over here, you have your rear uh, cargo slash baggage compartment. And then that little compartment right back here. And of course, uh, this is an older generation aircraft, so it has wingtip fences instead of uh, sharklets. And there's your, I'm sorry, I kind of messed this up on the last video, but there's your green navigation light. And then over here is the red navigation light. All right, guys, so if you turn the aircraft over on the back, there's your, oh, what would you call it? Um, there's your nose gear door. There we go. There's your nose gear door. There's the actual nose gear Got some underside details, which were absent on the uh, A321. Uh, right here you have the main gear doors and the main gear. Nice detail here. There's your underwing details. Pretty nice. Come down here. There's your uh, register. You know what? I kind of messed up. Okay. Back here is your horizontal stabilizer plus your... Uh, that's not really the APU access door. That's more of the anti-skid uh, wheel. All right, so if you come back over here, guys. I guess this is why I missed it because it's hard to see.
but the registration CJAS C dash G S A T S A T uh, very interesting of course the uh, three letter designator code for San Antonio International quite a coincidence but interesting nonetheless I think it's pretty interesting probably dumb that it's interesting but you know it's cool all right guys so uh, my next trivia question let me go back to my special guest here my next trivia question is uh, please name six US airlines that operated the L-1011 again please name six airlines that operated the L-1011 uh, judging going off the top of my head it may be the only six but pretty close but there were definitely six um, so name me six airlines that operated the L-1011 okay guys so my special guest uh, did you have anything you would like to add to the video before I end it nope. all right guys so please do me a favor, go subscribe to Gemini Bros for Life, Gemini Jets JXXX, Aviation Winnipeg, and Thin Air Aviation. Please subscribe to them, uh, amazing content, and you will not be disappointed. So, uh, please go subscribe to Gemini Well, thank you very much. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Please stay tuned, either tomorrow or Saturday, there will be a Central Texas International update, full-blown subscriber routes, the whole nine yards. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.